Hi there and welcome to English Biz with Dave. In this video and the first episode of a series, we're going to take a look at 10 phrases or expressions that are commonly used in business English and work contexts. And believe me, if you don't use it at work or in a business context, context and so on, you're still probably going to find this useful if you're trying to improve your vocabulary because many of these expressions or items that can also be used in other situations and some of them are just allocations. In other words, you know, words or expressions that are commonly used together. So now let's get started. First, we have a tough break. Having a tough break is when an adverse circumstance resulting in misfortune or hardships, like an instance of bad luck, a hard time, you know. In fact, when something unfortunate happens. For example, our company was undergoing a tough break after she quit it. In fact, she was one of our top performers. Another example, it was a tough break for the team that are come so close yet again to finally getting into the playoffs. Number two we have, ahead of the curve. To be ahead of the curve means to be more advanced than the competition in a particular train or to be, you know, better than the average. For example, in equipping its vehicles with mobile Wi-Fi, the company was ahead of a curve. Another example, the company is investing lots of money in research and development to secure its position ahead of the curve. Number three, ahead of the pack. To be ahead of the pack means to be better than better or more successful than the others trying to achieve the same things as you. Let's say outperforming other competitors. For example, at this stage of the campaign, the Democratic candidate is way ahead of the pack. Other example, if you want to stay ahead of the pack, we are going to have to work hard and continue to innovate. Number four, we have at stake. At stake means at risk, hanging in the balance, being in jeopardy of being won or lost. In fact, in the process of being determined as positive or negative outcome. For example, I'm a little nervous about giving this presentation. There's a lot at stake. Another example, thousands of lives would be at stake if emergency aid didn't arrive in time. Number five, we have back to square one. Back to square one means to start something all over again, to go back to the very first stage of something or to return to the original starting point. For example, we will have to go back to square one if the government pulls our funding on this project. Another example, after working for hours to fix the software, it turns out that the problem is something different. Well, we are back to square one, unfortunately. At the sixth position we have, back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board means to start something and go back to the planning stage. You know, to go back to the beginning to start it again because it is failed or simply to revise the plan or the process. For example, that ad campaign was not as successful as we hoped. Back to the drawing board. Another example, that prototype wasn't successful we have to go back to the drawing board. At the seventh position, we have backroom deal. A backroom deal is an agreement 
or a decision made without the public knowing about it. And it's mostly carried on by a backroom boy who is someone who advises a public figure or maintains a professional role that does not garner public attention. For example, I think they got the government contract because of the backroom deal or thanks to the backroom deal. Number eight, we have ballpark number or figure. A ballpark number or figure is a very inexact estimate. In fact, it is an approximate number and an off-the-cuff guess. For example, I'm not sure what a Super Bowl commercial costs, but to give you a ballpark figure, I'd say about $3 million. Other examples, do you have a ballpark figure for the cost of the renovations? Or, I don't need an exact number, a ballpark figure would do. For the number nine, we have behind the scenes. Behind the scenes means in secret or not in front of the general public. You know, when things happen behind the scenes, it actually means that you know, they are without being widely known or attracting attention. And sometimes they refer to the private portion of a venue or an operation. For example, sure, they seem happy together, but who knows what happens behind the scenes. Another example, let's have a round of applause for all the people working behind the scenes to give us such a great event. Further example, they make it look so effortless, but they do a lot of hard work and planning behind the scenes. And the last example, I can't believe we're going to get a behind the scenes tour of the castle. And with the last one, number 10, we have big picture. Big picture is everything that is involved with a particular situation. It is a complete view and overall a long-term scheme of something. For example, sure, one parking ticket isn't important in the big picture, but I'm really annoyed about it right now. Other examples, these are big picture projections. We will worry about the details later. And lastly, even though we all have very specific tasks to do, our manager makes sure we don't lose sight of the big picture. That's it guys for the first part. In the second part, we're gonna continue with uh, 10 more, starting with 11. And you know, as usual, if you like it, you know, just subscribe and then drop me a, a comment below. That said, I hope it was useful. I hope you liked it. Anyway, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.